This is very important and expected result that states that if fz is a regular function of z, the regular function means analytic function or you can also say this as holomorphic function. So regular function, analytic function, holomorphic function is one and the same thing, right? So we have to prove that curly square over curly x square plus curly square over curly y square into mod of fz square is equal to 4 times mod of f dash z whole square, right? Okay, before starting with the proof, let's recall few points. First one is, what are the harmonic functions? So any function of x, y which has continuous partial derivatives of first and second orders and that satisfies the Laplace's equation, such functions are called harmonic functions. Now what is the Laplace's equation? Second point, Laplace's differential equation is curly square phi over curly x square that is differentiating phi two times or the second derivative of phi. So curly square phi over curly x square plus curly square phi over curly y square is equal to zero. This is Laplace's differential equation where phi is a function of x, y. So if fz is equal to u plus alta v be analytic, then u, v, u is a real part and this v the imaginary part. Both are harmonic functions since this satisfies the Laplace's equation, which means if fz is analytic function, then u and v satisfies the Laplace's equation. So that is curly square u over curly x square plus curly square u over curly y square is equal to zero and curly square v over curly x square plus curly square v over curly y square is also equal to zero. So u and v both satisfies the Laplace's equation provided fz should be analytic function. Fine. Okay. Third is Cauchy-Raman equations. That is curly u over curly x is equal to curly v over curly y and curly v over curly x is equal to negative of curly u over curly y. So I'm going to use all these points in the proof, right? Okay, so let's start with the proof. Let fz is equal to u plus alta v so that mod of fz is equal to, yes, it is u square plus v square square root. And if I take mod of fz whole square, that is equal to u square plus v square. Let me name this as phi x y. Phi that is a function depending upon x and y, right? So therefore, let's calculate curly phi over curly x. So as phi is u square plus v square, so differentiating u square plus v square with respect to x, right? Okay, so this will give us 2u curly u over curly x plus 2v curly v over curly x. And now calculating curly square phi over curly x square, that is taking the differentiation again on this. So that is taking two common so this is first function, differentiation of second plus second function and differentiation of u is curly u over curly x. So I am taking the square over here. Similarly, first function, derivative of second with respect to x plus second function and differentiation of v with respect to x is again curly v over curly x. So I'm taking the square here also. Similarly, finding curly square phi over curly y square, that is twice. This is u, curly square u over curly y square plus curly u over curly y whole square plus v, curly square v over curly y square plus curly v over curly y whole square. And now let's add these two together. So adding we get 
curly square phi over curly x square plus curly square phi over curly y square is equal to please look this again so when you add just taking u common from the first term of both the equations and then taking v common from this third term from both the equations and then taking these two together and taking these two together so we get two outside taking u common so this is curly square u over curly x square plus curly square u over curly y square plus curly u over curly x whole square plus curly u over curly y whole square plus v into curly square v over curly x square plus curly square v over curly y square plus curly v over curly x whole square plus curly v over curly y whole square now since fz equal to u plus alta v is a regular function of z or analytic function of z so u and v satisfies both the equations cr equations and also the laplace's equations right so cr equations that are curly u over curly x is equal to curly v over curly y and curly v over curly x is equal to negative curly u over curly y these are the cr equations and laplace's equations because u and v are satisfying the laplace's equations so curly square u over curly x square plus curly square u over curly y square is equal to 0 and curly square v over curly x square plus curly square v over curly y square is also equal to 0. And now I'm going to use these two equations in this one. So from Laplace's equations, this first term is 0 and this term is also 0. So we have only these four terms, right? So I'm writing this. Fine. So then, now I'm going to use this here equations. So first term write as it is. Curly u over curly x whole square. And then, using the CR equation for this, what is curly u over curly y? This is negative curly v over curly x. Because I'm having the square also here. So this is curly v over curly x whole square. Then writing this term as it is, curly v over curly x whole square plus and the last term will be by using this here equations. What is curly v over curly y? This is curly u over curly x. So curly u over curly x whole square. And now this is twice. Okay. Curly u over curly x whole square. Here also I am having curly u over curly x whole square. So this will become twice curly u over curly x whole square. And from this two, this is also twice curly v over curly x whole square. Let me take this two outside. So this will be four times curly u over curly x whole square plus curly v over curly x whole square. Please mark this as two. And now fz is equal to u plus alta v f dash z is we know that it is curly u over curly x plus iota curly v over curly x right and if i take the mod on both the sides and then also squaring this we get curly u over curly x whole square plus curly v over curly x whole square and the square it will go so we get this only right so from 2 we get this is nothing but mod of f dash z whole square so i'm writing this in place of this and left hand side is just taking this as curly square over curly x square plus curly square over curly y square writing phi outside so from 2 i'm writing this again 
curly square over curly x square plus curly square over curly y square phi is equal to 4 times and instead of this I'm writing this. So this is mod of f dash z whole square right and what is this phi do you remember from the star this phi is nothing but mod of fz whole square so i'm writing phi as mod of fz whole square so this is curly square over curly x square plus curly square over curly y square mod of f of z whole square is equal to four times mod of f dash z whole square hence the result thank you stay blessed